Hey everyone, this is Dee from Twicket Wi-Fi. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to make an RJ45 patch card from scratch. So what that means is we only have a strand of RJ45 cable, some connectors that get connected at the end of it, a tool that would help crimp the connectors, and testing tool which would help us verify if the connectors are properly installed at both ends or not. So let's get down to it. So here I've laid out all the tools. Uh, this is your crimping tool. This is just a pair of scissors. Uh, this is your wire tester. These are the crimps or the connectors that would be crimped and this is a strand of category 6 cable. So I'm going to put a few of these aside for the time. So what we're going to do now is remove this outer sheath or cover. And whilst we are going to do that, we have to ensure that we don't put a cut on any of the inner copper cables. So let's use the crimping tool. You can use um, any sort of cutter. I'm going to use my crimping tool. There's um, sort, of a, sort of a hole here from which I'll leave about two inches out. And I won't press down hard, just firm and gently to twist the cable around. And you can see there should be a cut. That should be it. Yeah. And now we removed the outer cable. Let's just double check all the uh, copper cables that there should be no copper showing through. We don't want a cut here on the cover of these copper cables such that copper shines through them. We don't want, if, if you manage to make a cut here, chop off this entire end and start over again, okay? We don't want a cut or an exposed wire uh, anywhere close to the sheath. So this uh, thread, we are going to cut it off, we don't need that. And let's just open it up. So this is a category 6 cable, it comes with a, a plastic separator inside it and this is one of the primary differentiators between a category 5 and a category 6 cable. The category 6 cable would also have a higher density of twists compared to a category 5 cable. So we don't need this uh, uh, plastic separator anymore, you could either use the knife or the crimping tools blade to chop it off. Just make sure uh, to take care not to put a slice or a splice or a cut on any of these strands. So let's uh, straighten out these cables. Um, when you undo these twists, you might notice that the wire itself is fairly deformed. So you can pull gently with your fingers to straighten them out. This would help uh, ease uh, these cables into the slot inside the connector. If you have a lot of twists, you won't be able to align them exactly inside this connector. So let's uh, undo all the others. Okay, so now we've got all the cables lined up. Um, typically, we'll be following the TIA or EIA 568B uh, color coding standard. Uh, you might want to double check with the venue or if any other coding standard is in practice, but for this video we'll be using um, TIA EIA 568B. Um, so the, the color sequence is orange, white, orange. Green, white, blue, blue, white, then green, white, brown, and Once again, um, orange, white, orange, green, white, green, blue, blue, white, 
green, white, brown, and brown. Okay. Now, how much of this? This is a lot of cable that you can see. However, the connector is far smaller. So we've got to chop off some of the extra wires. So the, the way to measure that is hold the connector next to the cable and you can mark with your thumb. This is about the length that you want. The important thing to remember and note here is that this outer sheath should come in at least till this wedge that you can see inside the connector here. And this is where when you're using the crimping tool, this, uh, the tool will press down on this wedge and it will lock the sheath inside. You ideally don't want the sheets to be outside, otherwise this cable can easily go back when you plug it or unplug it a couple of times. Since there is the, the outer jacket locks everything in place, if it's not locked in place, these cables might miss the pins. Okay, so this is the measurement that you need and you need to chop off here. So let's do that. You could use um, the same crimping tools sharper blade to do this. Uh, careful not to cut your finger. And there you go. An important thing to note is that you want this to be as straight as possible. If it's a diagonal cut or if a few wires are short and long, they're not aligned properly, you might want to redo this because uh, the cable can miss the pins on the connector. So the teeth on this connector is going to dig inside this cable and you want them all to be evenly inside the connector. So you can gently start pushing inside and before you push further in, you can just verify that the color code remains the same. Um, and let's try. Um, a good test of whether you got it right or not is if you look at it from the front of the connector, you should see eight golden dots of the copper cables. If you see eight golden dots, uh, you got it perfectly. Here we can see all the eight golden dots. I'm not sure if the camera can properly see it or not, but you should see eight golden dots shining here. Okay. Now, once I've got this, I'm going to just insert it gently into the crimp tool. You can only insert it one way. So, just insert it like this. And as you can see, the teeth of the crimping tool would line up with the pins. You want to Press down firmly on this once. You might want to do this once or twice. And then you can gently try and pull the pins, pull the connector out. And you can see that the cables are all properly lined up. Um, so just after using the crimp tool if you see some of the teeth still out from the cable you might want to reinsert it and press it once or twice more just to make sure that all the pins are properly in place and that's much better got all the teeth lined up properly and I'm just confirming if all the wood cables are inside. And that's how you get the crimp in place. Now 
let's put a connector on the other end of the cable and then we'll use the cable tester to verify if the connection is good or not. So now I've got uh, the other end of the crimp installed as well. And for a cable tester, um, this is uh, a type where you can detach and you've got RJ45 ports on both ends. So you need to plug one end into one end of the cable in uh, the first part and the second end into the remote part, like so. And let's just turn it on and let's see if it is working properly or not. So here we can see one, two, three, four, five is missing, six, seven, eight. But we pretty much know that pin five has missed a connection somewhere. This uh, kind of a test will save you a lot of effort and man hours if you do it right after you crew. Now, what this means is necessarily that. Um, it might not be both ends that might be bad. It might be just one of the ends that might have missed. So we can turn it off and let's just verify quickly which end of it has missed. Put this aside. And a quick uh, giveaway would be the eight dots that I had mentioned earlier. If you see them again slide, you should see eight golden dots. And you can be pretty sure if you're seeing all the dots if you're seeing all the dots properly, your um, connector and the crimp on that connector is good. Now, I'll look closely here on this one, and I am a bit doubtful about the eight golden dots on this. So I looked at one of these crimps, and this one uh, seemed to have missed two wires. I couldn't find the eight golden dots in it post the crimp. And this is uh, a common thing that might happen during the time you put the connector inside the tool and the wires might move because they've, they've not uh, yet been locked in place by the tool and therefore um, they might miss the pin completely. And that is uh, exactly what had happened here. So I've gone ahead and uh, removed the older crimp, which is the dodgy one here. Um, I chopped that off completely. It's a waste. But uh, I put on a new one. And now let's uh, see if the if the tester gives us a um, green for this patch pod or not. So I'm just turning it on. And what you should see here is for each of the cable, you should see matching lights. So as you can see, um, I'll just voice it out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So all uh, connectors are properly seated and connected. If you want to be double sure, you can just uh, dodge it a bit uh, to be sure that it is working properly and nothing is loose. And in this case, everything seems good. So, we finally have a patch cord from scratch. Um, so, just to recap, you should see two crimps on both ends, or two connectors crimped on both ends, with eight golden dots uh, at the bottom here. And you almost always have a great patch cord. Not having a reliable connector or a crimp is one of the biggest reasons of on and off support calls where guests might experience dodgy behavior. So sometimes their devices might work, sometimes they might not work. Making sure that your connectors are crimped properly is, uh, is, is like laying a very strong foundation for a network which is able to sustain high demands. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.